Good evening folks, a quick uh, walk and talk while the battery flashes red at me. We'll go into the back unit in a moment and discuss what we've done today, but I just wanted to show you uh, the fruits of today's labour. Basically, this is the magnetic menu board. So all of the beers that are on here will be displayed up there. ABV, price, all that kind of jazzle shamazzle. Well as that today, I've also had Sam in here doing a little bit more painting. He started work on the staircase. You can see it's gone grey. A little bit like what this project's doing to me. <laughs> and then next door, we've also started cutting timber slats to make our own Roman blinds for the windows. I got a quote of nearly a thousand pounds just to supply all the blinds for here. Well, I've been and bought all the cloth for less than three and all the fittings have been ordered from eBay. So let's go and have a look at the cloth that we've got and I'll talk you through my idea for the timber work within the Roman blinds, if you like. So this here, if you can see it within this plastic, is the weave cloth. It's quite substantial and heavy. Uh, you can't really see the pattern on it properly from where it is, but this is what you'll see from the outside. <coughs> oh. So yeah, just to kind of recap, I've spent all morning, all day really, putting together that metal frame and then welding on uh, a piece of steel sheet within the angle iron and then we mounted that on the wall itself and then I've cut 40 plus, I think I've got some, 40 plus pieces of plywood, 6 mil plywood I think it is and we've gone 400 by 80 mil and then this is going to be painted with black chalkboard and uh, chalkboard paint and then on it we will be writing the beers and on the back I've also cut out some little holes which perfectly fit those neodymium magnets so you can just slam it on the board uh, this is not too bad but some of them have come out because it's only six mil ply some of them have come out with a little bit of a bend on them so as you see me sticking them on the board there they weren't they weren't uh, quite sticking properly and the reason my face is all itchy is because whilst I had the table saw set up I've also been cutting lots and lots of these slats and these are pieces of hardwood it's the ash the off cuts of ash that we had from the bar build and fortunately for me well, here's a piece what we've been taking them off look you can still see the bark on the back so yeah fortunately for me uh, I wanted to create some Roman blinds with some hardwood timber in there to weight the blinds down at all of the all of the folds, what would you call them, the plaits, I don't know what they're called and uh, I didn't really want to use softwood so I thought well what hardwood do I have in stock, I don't have any oak this is the next best thing and it's it's solid you know I kind of think a pine, a piece of pine would tend to snap so after completing today's project of the beer menu I don't need to paint all those boards, I'll get Stuart or Gemma to do that uh, tomorrow we are going to pick up some Roman blind manufacture if indeed the fittings arrive if not we'll postpone that a day or two but I'm quite pleased with actually how nice these, uh, these slats have come out, I'm going to run them down the middle then we'll have a 10mm by 20mm piece of timber to screw our little eyelets and whatever else to as we make the Roman blinds. But uh, yeah, it's been another busy day today and that pretty much is all I'm going to do in terms of uh, 
vloggage. Uh, we've just had a visit from, I think it was Wayne and Olivia, all the way from Australia, believe it or not, on their honeymoon. Did they say where they were from, Jem? Did Wayne and Olivia say where they were from? Oh, well, she can't hear me. So yeah, we don't know where they were from, but uh, yeah, they came to pay us a visit in the brew shed, all the way from the land of Oz. Can you believe it? So congrats to you two on uh, on your marriage. <laughs> and uh, well, let's see if you come back for your first anniversary, eh, bud, when the uh, pub's open. But uh, yeah, what a surprise to see somebody pop in from that far afield. That's the second person I've had visit me from Australia now. Quite a journey. They're not coming to see me, of course. They're already here on other business. I'm an afterthought. So let's keep it like that. I'm often an afterthought in most people's minds. I don't mind. Uh, maybe if you're not thinking about too many things tomorrow, I'll be an afterthought then, and you can join me on tomorrow's vlog. Hit the bell button next to the subscribe and you'll get a little notification telling you when it's uploaded. Normally eight o'clock. But we'll see you then. Cheers.